It's been more than two years since the New Zealand and the wider rugby community last witnessed this scene. Lock forward Ali Williams in the all-black shirt of his country. The veteran of 61 tests played no rugby during that time, the result of a wretched sequence of injuries. But the giant second row is back, and Williams recently returned home to New Zealand after spending five weeks with English Championship side Nottingham. Obviously, I didn't want to play at the top level rugby to, um, when I came back in, obviously. Uh, this body's a bit rusty and hadn't played for a while, so I thought let's integrate back in at a lower level. And, um, and Nottingham put its hand up through Glenn and the New Zealand connection. There's uh, quite a few Kiwis here, so it's good. And uh, you know they were going to allow me to play the 20, 40, 60 and then 80 minutes tonight. So that, that was a big reason why we came Nottingham. Having been out of the game for so long, William's battle to get back to full fitness has been as much mental as it has been physical. Definitely the mental battle is the, uh, the big one in terms of, oh, what's that? And you feel something and then your head instantly triggers a hey, pain. Maybe there's something wrong, but the reality is there's nothing wrong. Um, Achilles is one of those things that it's right, it's right until that split second when it goes and then it's wrong, you know what I mean? So. I'd be lying to say if there was times where I thought, man, is this all going to be worth it? But um, the reality is, it's just, it's just the rugby, you know, you, you take the goods and the bad and, and injury is just part of it. Never did I really think, mate, this is this, the end of me, this is, uh, this is just another stepping stone or another challenge that's put in front of me and now I'm, I'm all go. So how does he think his former test colleagues have fared in his absence and how well has he adapted to life as an onlooker? On the TV, it looks a lot easier, but when you're out there in the in the cold face, it's definitely harder. So, I think they went remarkably well. I think um, there's a lot of challenges from uh, from 2009 in terms of maybe some poor performances and and areas that of concern. But I think they really bounced back in 2010. I think that the real class of true individuals came out and they shone and they lifted the bar of others and, and others came and came and got them. And, great to be honest as, as a fan to watch. The time Williams has spent away from playing rugby has merely reinforced his desire, drive and determination to get back to the game. You definitely miss something more when, when you don't have it in front of you and, and the, I think the reason why that is is because you're actually outside of it and you're looking back into it. When you're in there in the coal face it's, it's quite hard to you get surrounded by the whole thing so yeah, that saying is, is definitely true. You, you miss something more when it's been taken away from you. So, yeah, just let me play rugby. It's that simple, really. Williams' final game for Nottingham before heading back south was on a cold Tuesday night against league rivals Rotherham. It may have been a long way from Eden Park, but the experience has been of mutual benefit to the 29-year-old All Black and to the club. Victory ensured Nottingham remained firmly in the running for a playoff place in the second tier of English rugby. And for the first time in two years, Williams completed 80 minutes of rugby. Over the course of the four or five weeks, he's um, he's grown. He's 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 got a lot out of it. You know, he's played 80 minutes today, and he's ready to go back for Super Rugby. So that's that's a big big plus point for him personally. But for us, he's he's been a great guy to have in the team and um, offered experience where where he could. And and certainly, you know, we talk about trying to raise standards, and all the players we've got are very aspirational. They want to play at the next level, and they've had a chance to spend five weeks with, with a guy who's who's playing at that level. And um, you know, I think a lot of that's going to rub off. He's got the determination there. He's he's a world class player, and you can see that behind the eyes. And you know, we saw that today. He's got that desire to play again and, uh, and, and the hunger's there. So he's got a big super campaign ahead of him and uh, I'm sure it'll be a little bit quicker than Championship Rugby, but I think what this has done has served him a chance to get, uh, get some mileage under the feet and um, get back playing. In regard to the All Blacks, well, I've been pretty lucky there in terms of communication. It's been pretty open and the reality is if I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. When I, when I speak to them, it's, um, well, what have you done on the field? And, we, we, we can only judge you on the field, um, and that's the way I want it. It's not about me, it's, it's about the black jerseys.